This is question 20 from the 2008 non calculator paper. Here we have got a, uh, we, here we've been asked to draw a quadratic graph. Now, the first thing to recognise here is that our graph involves x squared. Because it involves x squared, we know before we even start that we're going to get a curved graph. So we're going to get a, a graph in the shape of a U. So let's um, let's go to work on figuring out our coordinates first of all. So we're getting two marks just for completing this table. So let's substitute the number two into our formula. So we've got two, let's substitute that in, that's going to be two squared minus, and then we've got four times two, and then at the end plus two. So 2 squared, that's going to give us 4, minus 8, plus 2, 4 minus 8, plus 2, so 4 minus 8, that takes us down to negative 4, add on 2, that takes us back up to minus 2. So our value here is going to be minus 2. Then let's take a look at when we substitute 4 in. So substituting 4 into this formula here. So we get 4 squared minus 4 times 4 and then plus 2 and that's going to give us an answer of 4 squared that's 16 minus 4 times 4 that's 16 so 16 minus 16 0 add on 2 0 plus 2 is going to give us 2 so our next answer is going to be a 2 Notice here that I started with the positive numbers. That's the best way to start with this because they're a little bit easier to work out than the negatives. Now let's move on to our last one. We've got a negative 1 there. So we're going to have minus 1 squared um, then minus just substitute negative 1 into here. So minus 1 squared minus 4 times minus 1 and then add 2. So let's work this out. Minus 1 squared, well, minus 1 times by minus 1, negative multiplied by a negative is going to give us a positive answer. So we get 1, then we're doing minus, and then 4 times by minus 1, that's going to give us negative 4. And then we are adding on 2. So 1 minus minus 4. Remember that if we see these two signs next to each other, we can assume that that becomes a positive so we are taking away a negative number so it's 1 plus 4 plus 2 and so we get an answer of 7 so our answer here is going to be 7 it's just worth commenting on the fact that with these types where we have quadratic graphs we generally get a little bit of symmetry it's not always going to be perfect symmetry and sometimes um, it might fall off but we should notice here that either side of this value here that our numbers are exactly the same um, now it doesn't always work like that it depends on the numbers that you've got for x but generally you'll have some degree of symmetry okay right then so let's um, get our next marks by plotting these points onto our graph. So we've got minus 1, 7, minus 1, 7 is here, then 0, 2, there, then we've got 1, minus 1, so along to 1 and down to minus 1, then I think we had um, 2, negative 2, 3, minus 1, 4, 2, and 5, 7 then this would not get us both of the marks for this part notice that it's worth two marks we're told here it's worth two marks this would not get us um, both those marks we would then have to not just plot the points but also um, draw a curved line so you're not using a ruler for these type of graphs draw a curved line um, as best we can between each of the points and that would get us two marks obviously try to be a bit neater than I have um, 
and as I say we can see there we've got a u-shaped graph but a common mistake here would be to have something like for the negative number have a value that, that doesn't look right so I don't know a value around here somewhere if we if that happens to us we should see straight away that our answer can't be right we need because um, it needs to be a u-shaped curve if you've got coordinates going like this like this like this like this and then all of a sudden you get to the negatives and you've got an answer down here somewhere then that means that you've done something wrong in your calculations and it's worth going back and just checking um, that your calculations are correct.